Hello Sigmas! So far we have been looking only into the theory that connects work, energy, power and the various conservative and non-conservative forces. But now is the time we dive into some serious problems. And this is our first problem. And just like any other problem that we have solved in our uh, channel, this problem is also based upon what we can experience in real life. Here we have a chain whose mass is uh, m. And the total length of this uh, chain, the total length of this chain is capital L. And a small fraction of this length of the chain hangs uh, from the tape. Right now here m could be 2 in that case uh, half of the chain is hanging from the table and if n is 3 then one third of the chain hangs from the table. So n could be any integer. Since it's a hanging part of the chain is going to experience a force of uh, gravity obviously this uh, chain is going to slide down the table because uh, this surface is uh, frictionless. That is, uh, we are ignoring friction. If it were had some friction, then a sufficiently uh, large uh, fraction of the chain had to be hanging from the table for it to slide down. But since it is uh, frictionless, it is obviously going to slide down no matter what fraction of the chain is hanging from the table. And uh, what we actually need to find in this problem is the velocity of this chain once it has uh, completely fallen off the table. That is, let me draw the situation. So once this chain has completely fallen off the table of length L, then uh, we need to find its velocity. To solve this problem, what I'm going to use is conservation of mechanical energy. And to use conservation of mechanical energy, we need to know the mechanical energy of this chain initially and finally once it has completely fallen off the table. Initially, since the chain was at rest, its kinetic energy is zero. But there is a small fraction of the chain hanging from the table and hence we are going to see it is going to have some potential energy. To find the potential energy, we need to first assume a reference point. And for this problem, I'm going to assume this corner to be the reference point. And the potential energy or at the reference point, you can assume it to be whatever you want and hence the best assumption that we can make is the potential energy at this point is zero. Next what I'm going to do is assume a small fraction of uh, this uh, chain, right? I'm going to assume a small length or uh, elemental mass of this chain and I'm going to call it dm which has a length dx and is present at a distance x from uh, the origin that we have assumed from the reference point that we have assumed, right? It is present at a distance x from O. Then what would be the potential energy of that small elemental mass? Let me call it du. Du would be equal to dm into g and x with a minus sign where dm is the mass of that elemental uh, length that we have assumed and uh, this uh, minus sign over here is uh, because uh, the chain is uh, going to move uh, in the direction of gravity that is from position o we have taken our distance that is x this uh, dx is present uh, in the negative y direction or in the direction of gravity and hence the work done by gravity will be positive but the work done by chain in moving through gravity will be negative uh, that is the potential energy of that small elemental mass is uh, going to be negative but we do not know what dm is but actually we do know what dm is from our previous video we know that dm is equal to lambda dx where lambda is nothing but the mass per unit length of that element it is lambda is equal to m by n if that is the potential energy of that small elemental mass that we have assumed what will be the potential energy of the part the entire part of the chain which uh, hangs up from the table 
to find that what we are going to do is just integrate this equation from zero since we have assumed uh, the potential energy at o to be zero that is our reference point this is our reference point and we have assumed uh, the potential energy at the reference point to be zero and we can do that then what we can do is find the potential energy of the entire fraction of length of the chain which uh, hangs uh, from the table by integrating this uh, equation from zero to l by n so i'm going to get the total potential energy equal to minus lambda g integration from 0 to l by n because that is the length of that uh, fraction of the chain which hangs from the table x dx so that would be equal to minus lambda g x square by 2 from 0 to l by n and that would be equal to minus lambda g by 2 l square upon n square now if i resubstitute the value of lambda i will be left with minus uh, mg l by 2n square that is because uh, lambda is equal to m by l so this l is going to cancel with the l square to give, give me this single l over here so that is the potential energy of the this uh, hanging part of the chain or the initial potential energy of the chain or the initial total energy of the chain because the kinetic energy is zero next what we are going to do is find the mechanical energy of the chain once it has completely fallen off the table to find that again since uh, this is our reference point at zero and uh, it has completely fallen so this is l all we will have to do is now integrate this equation not from 0 to l by n but from 0 to l right we will have to integrate it from here to here doing that what i will find is uh, let me call this u1 so that now i have u2 that is the potential energy of the chain once it has completely fallen off the table u2 would be equal to minus lambda g integral from 0 l because uh, we are integrating over the entire length of the chain hence it will be l so it will be integral from 0 to l x dx and that once you solve it you will get minus mg l upon 2 that is you will not get this n square simply because i have not integrated it from 0 to l by n but i have integrated from 0 to l so that n square will not be there this is the potential energy of the chain once it has completely fallen and now what i can do finally is use the conservation of mechanical energy initially the potential energy or the total energy of the chain was mg l upon 2 n square and finally it was minus mg l upon 2 plus half mv square you will see that m will get cancelled and this uh, 2 in the denominator will get cancelled so that i am left with if i take this uh, gl on the other side i will be left with gl minus gl upon n square would be equal to v square and hence we will get v square equal to gl i can take common 1 minus 1 by n square this is what we were hunting for in this problem the velocity of the chain once it has completely fallen off the table and that was all about this problem where we learned how to use the conservation of mechanical energy to solve this very beautiful real life problem to motivate me to create more such problems do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video i will see you next time with another such important and beautiful problem thank you for watching